Hi, I'm uh, Dan the Man. Uh, the game Darkest of Days has a new patch online uh, for Habitat, which is allows you to make your own custom maps uh, using the software that the game makers of Darkest of Days used. So you want to go to the uh, Darkest of Days website, www.darkestofdays.com. Um, you want to go to Downloads. That'll bring you to the screen. Now, right now, there's two patches. Uh, the one is level editor and uh, Marmasoon too bad. I don't know. It's it's the habitat one. Um, you want to download that and get that all situated, files and all that. I'm, I'm going to show you how to uh, make one, make a level, at least as far as my abilities. Okay, so this is where you will start. Now you're going to notice just like a black screen on the bottom and a sky. Um, so the first thing you want to do is create a ground for yourself. Um, you want to do this by... Okay, so to make your bottom land, you want to go to create, which is at the top left. Um, now this is just to, you have to save and quit after this. Uh, terrain. This box is going to pop up. You don't need to adjust anything on here. Everything is already set for you. Just hit OK. And then uh, go back to base. Base. Terrain. No, vegetation. No. Yeah. Uh, I think it's vegetation. Vegetation. And... No, back. Should open. Uh, you have to go into one of those folders until you find the uh, a file that shows up. Isn't there one that says, um, what's that top one? Corn. Yeah, go into that. One. Yeah. Pick, pick, pick uh, yes. one of those. Okay. Okay. So good. That's what you got. Thanks. Help my dad. He's more of an expert. Okay. So. Right now you want to file save this because if you go on you can uh, lose some of your tools. Sorry, my nose is a little stuffed up, so save as. Um, you want to do a dot .hab at the very end. So I'm just going to name this uh, Dan the Man. Uh, dot .hab. Okay, now Daniel, remember to put it in that tutorial folder yeah. that you created. So base, uh, put it in, go to base first, and right there, find tutorial, the probably at the very bottom. Double click on that, and hit save. After this, just quit out. Next button. Save, right? Yeah, save first, but. And then yeah. close it. And reopen it. Okay, now just reopen it. File open. And double click on it. Okay, so now you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um to move around and look around, it's it's pretty much pretty simple. It's alt uh left mouse click that allows you to look around. Right now, I'm just looking at pretty much green grass. And Alt and right click allows you to zoom in and zoom out. Now, those are the two main controls to uh, move around, at least in this part of the editor. You can actually put guys down and stuff and then use it as you were actually walking in the game, you know? WSAD. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the stuff you can do. Um, you can put characters in, you know. Okay, so it's pretty descriptive there. Yeah. Which palette did you open up? Characters. Character palette? Yeah. Okay. Now on everything that you open, whether it's trees, characters, uh, items, sandbags, whatever, you know, it's always uh, hit this arrow, add more, and it brings up this. You have to go to base, uh, look for characters in your thing. Now it looks pretty hard, but it's easy. Uh, 
And these are all your characters. Um, just to show you some stuff real quick. You're just gonna put one guy? Yeah, just put two guys. Two guys? Yeah, one. And if anybody can help us with the uh, dark bands that are moving down the screen, it would help us to get rid of it and be appreciated. Okay. Uh, so to spawn them, uh, just hit shift and that spawns them. So. There you have your Confederate guy. And I'm gonna put a Union guy. Right a here. Union guy right next to him? Why not? <laughs> now you can turn these guys, you know, man manipulate them. Um, even the odds. Okay, now to drop into your world that you just created, uh, hit F10, and that should bring you into. You just created. Uh, yeah, just on. Right now he's in edit mode. Just click the ground elsewhere. Yeah. Okay, now it'll work. Now the first thing that happens is your face lands directly into the ground. Now here you can place weapons. You know before you land. So as soon as you land, you pick up weapons. Otherwise you can just pick them up from dead bodies. Um. So right now you just pretty much have a world with nothing else. So F10 brings you back in the editor, and you can pretty much do whatever you want in here. Um, I'm gonna delete these guys, highlight them, and the backspace button. Um, you can create whole lands, you know, vegetation, trees, everything. Big elaborate. You can indent the world, you know, make hills and valleys.